Hi, I'm Portia Stewart, Team Channel Director for DVM360.com, and I'm joined here today with Dr. Missy Simpson. She's the epidemiologist for the Morris Animal Foundation Golden Retriever Lifetime Study. Dr. Simpson just finished presenting at the Fetch DVM360 conference, uh, where she presented the first prospective research looking at gonadectomy and incidence of overweight and obesity and chronic non-traumatic orthopedic injuries. Dr. Simpson, can you tell us a bit about what you presented today? Sure. So uh, today I presented some preliminary data that we uh, have generated off of our cohort of 3,000 golden retrievers. Ultimately, we are looking at cancer outcomes, but until we have enough diagnoses, we're looking at some interim important health outcomes. So today I looked, uh, I presented um, research showing that earlier age at spay-neuter is a risk factor for both overweight and obesity, and also um, some of our more chronic orthopedic injuries that we see in dogs like golden retrievers. Right, and I know that from this data, one of the most common questions you are asked is, what is the magic age for that spay or neuter? And that will remain a question. Um, We have some evidence showing that it's probably best to let our dogs, at least our large breed dogs, go through, um, at least go through puberty. But there are, of course, advantages and disadvantages to any choice uh, that an owner and veterinarian makes for their patients. And um, it's a balance of risk factors for sure. Now, I know that um, uh, after you presented this uh, data, we were looking at golden retrievers in the study. How does it apply to other breeds? That's a great question. Um, We think that it could be applicable to other large breed dogs um, who have similar lifestyles, such as Labrador retrievers, um, but we don't know for sure. You know, golden retrievers may be genetically unique. Um, That's a question that remains to be answered. We certainly hope it's applicable to other dogs. Right. And finally, uh, how will you be making the raw data and the samples available to researchers to mine for future insights? We're really excited at Morris to announce that um, in the year to come, we're launching a data commons, which is um, a place where researchers can go and access all of the digital data that we have on our dogs. In addition, uh, we have requests for proposals that come out about every year, um, and that's a chance for veterinarians, for research, veterinary researchers to use our um, samples. So in a perfect world, what we would like to see happen is a researcher would go to the data commons and um, generate some questions and some hypotheses and then apply for, um, apply to use the samples. So stay tuned, we should have announcements coming out about that uh, in the spring of 2019. Thank you, Dr. Simpson. Thanks. Meow.